All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my whitetail setup. So starting out, I'm gonna start with my saddle. I have the tethered Phantom saddle right here. Um, I've got two dump pouches that I got off of Amazon. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I've got the tethered, I believe these are 11 millimeter ropes. Uh, it's the original ones they came out with. Um, so once that comes out, on the bottom of that, I have my gear hanger. So my gear hanger, all of these accessories that I have are pretty much made myself. Uh, this is a piece of paracord I came through and tied knots so that I could throw carabiners on there. This thing just wraps around the tree and hitches to itself. You pull that through and then you're on the tree Carabiners go through there and hang pretty much whatever you want. I have, like I said, tethered 11 millimeter lineman rope, and this stays connected at all times because I use it every time I climb. And then on the inside of here, I have an extra gear hanger just in case I leave that other one at home. And I have my aiders in there. This is what I drop down when I climb and I pull my, my bow up with it or if I'm hanging stands, I'll pull sticks up with it or whatever. And this also stays on here at all times, um, just so I don't forget it. Other than that, I keep a saw on here for when I'm climbing, if I need to cut down some tiny branches, or when I get in the tree, if I need to make a shot in a certain place, I can cut a limb down there. This is just a, yeah, real tree. Got it from a local store here. And, um, you know, it does what it needs to do. I think it's about eight or 10 bucks, something like that. Real simple. Um, the only other thing that I have on my saddle is I tied some nylon braided string on here with a little, it's really a garden hook. It's for uh, hanging pots with. And I got those from Walmart for like three bucks. I closed off the end. And this, when I climb, that's where I hang my sticks. I have one on the back for the platform. And then I have another one on this side right there that I use for my other stick. Going on with the saddle setup, <clears throat> I have my sticks and my platform. So I run the XOP Gen 1s. They just came out with the Gen 2s, which I really want to get. Um, they're a little bit lighter than these and they have double steps this year. These are single, um, just like that. You flip them to whatever side your foot would be on as you're climbing and I really like these. I've been using these also for three years. Um, I haven't changed my saddle setup at all since I started. Um, I've just modified a few things. So I keep these tied together with one of these night eyes gear ties. It just helps everything stay quiet. These sticks, they go together real nicely. Um, I just, I need to tighten this screw here. Um, that's the only reason you might hear something, but you know, shake those no noise they go together very well these have been really solid sticks for me um like i said they're quiet they're pretty light i think this is like five and a half pounds something like that and um you know i like to use them the only thing that i've done to these is i took off the xop straps that comes with them and i got these from i believe it's backwoods gear it's just some daisy chain am steel i like these a lot better for connecting to the tree uh, they're a lot quieter, there's no metal to metal contact, and they're longer so I can get around different trees if I need to. And I'm going to go through in another video how I climb. So I'll go more in depth with this in that video. I have the tethered Predator platform. Uh, same thing, been using it for three years. Super, super good platform. They also have the XL size. Um, I don't, I didn't get the XL because I like to just be as minimal as I can when I'm walking into the woods in public, um, especially if I have long walks. It's just easier to have smaller items and it also it's less weight. So I am using the tethered strap still. I'm debating if I want to go to am still. Uh, this strap does a really good job of connecting to the tree and getting it real tight. And when you put this thing on a tree, it does not move. I've used the Hawk platform. The difference is insane in how sturdy this one is compared 
to that one. So the Hawk is a more budget friendly platform, but this one right here is super sturdy. Uh, like I can put all of my weight on one side and it doesn't budge once it's in the tree. It cams super easy, super well, and uh, it's just a solid platform. I really like this and I don't plan on changing anytime soon. I'll move on to my bag. This is the Badlands Diablo VT. Um, I bought this last year. I originally had a different Badlands bag. Um, I can't remember which one it was. It's kind of similar, but I got this one. It's a tad bit bigger. Down here, it has a rifle slash bow sling. So you can pull that out, throw your rifle in there, your bow. I do that if I'm not carrying a stand in, but if I am carrying a stand in, it all goes right here so I can keep the weight distributed correctly. Um, it's got two big pockets here. They fold all the way down. And this other one folds halfway down. So tons of room in there. I could fit anything I need. And really, I could take this out west and do like a three day trip with it probably. I could keep clothes in here, a tent if I needed to, sleeping bag, I could do all that with it. It does have your hip straps here. They're padded. Uh, really, the padding in all of the Badlands bags are really nice. It also is structured. It has the support on the actual frame of the bag and, you know, shoulder straps, super comfortable. The only complaint I have with all of this padding is that it just gets really hot. I live in South Mississippi, so when you're hunting in the South, all the way, it can go all the way through December and into January. I mean, we could be hunting you know, 70 plus degrees in December. But this thing does get a little warm, especially during bow season. But the padding is nice, it stays comfortable. And if you're wearing the right clothes, you'll dry up really fast. Really like this bag. And this goes to my binocular harness. I threw it on here. Uh, I usually keep my phone or something in it. Just a little extra storage you can get to really easy. So <clears throat> I really like all of that stuff. That is my whole saddle setup. And now I'm gonna move on to the lock-on that I'm using this year. I actually have two of them coming in. This is the vertical. Uh, this is the Overland, this is the bigger one. And I'll be using this for more of um, like a permanent stand on the lease. I'll be setting this one up probably here in the next week. And I haven't used it yet. I got it for Christmas last year and didn't get to use it. And this will be my first season with it. So I really can't speak to the performance of it from what i've heard they're very good uh, very well made and the seat is super comfortable i've actually sat on it on a tree and it's super comfortable so i'm excited to use that i also have the drifter coming in which is their compact one it's a lot smaller a lot lighter and it's made for mobile hunting especially if you're going to do a hanging hunt on public land or even on private you could use that one so now moving on to the bino harness i've had two or three in the past and I didn't like those because they had padding on the actual straps and like I said earlier when you have a lot of padding it just gets really hot down here so I switched to this one it's got just simple straps go across your back no padding and it holds the weight very well it's got a couple pockets uh, it has two of these the other one like I showed you is on my bag I only carry this one when I'm bow hunting just for the rangefinder, but I really like it. Inside, I have my binos. I've got been using these for about two years. These are the Hawk Endurance EDs, the 8x42s. Um, they've been really good. Uh, the glass in them's really good. The focus is super easy to use. In the other pocket, I keep my rangefinder. So my rangefinder is the Halo 750. I use this one because I am really bad at keeping up with my range finders. I use them when I play golf. I use them when I'm shooting my bow, when I go hunting, and I lose range finders. So this is a cheaper one. Uh, it's a good budget option. It works very well. It's got two different modes. So you can get your elevation or you can do it for the flat ground, and, but it will adjust for your elevation if you put it on that mode which obviously is really good for when you're in a stand. I'm primarily a bow hunter, so this is what I'll be using throughout the season. It is uh, a 2008 Bear Attack. Even though it's an older model, I absolutely love this bow. This one is 
a tad bit heavy, but you know, it's not a huge concern. I'm still a young guy, but it shoots very well, shoots fast, and it's accurate. I've never had any problems with it. Once I sight it in at the beginning of the year, get it tuned up, it stays right where I need it to all season, you know, unless I was to just drop it from my stand, which would probably, you know, break the sight and stuff. I have trophy ridge sights, and I also have, I just got this last year, and originally I had a mounted quiver, which I did not like because it just kind of gets in the way for me if I'm trying to move around a tree, especially with the saddle. You have that rope hanging in front of you, so it can kind of like hit against that, and it's just a little extra width that I didn't like. So this one is the quick detach. I'm not sure the exact model, but you flip a little button right there up, take it out, hang it on the tree. When you're ready to go, put it right back in, flip it down, and you're ready to go. Um, this is a stabilizer that came with it. Not sure what it is. I'm sure it's Trophy Ridge because Bear and Trophy Ridge go hand in hand. And the last thing with this is my arrows. I've been using these for two years now, and they're my favorite arrow. They are the Carbon Express Maxima, and it's a 350 spine. I use the Blazer fletchings, which is pretty standard. I think a lot of people do. The knocks are the same knocks that come on them, I've never changed those. And right here is the Muzzy One Broadhead. I started using this one last year. Originally, I was using the Muzzy Three Blades. I don't know why, I've just always used the fixed blade Muzzies. I've always liked them, never had problems with them. The only reason I might change this year is that Lone Wolf Customs has a broadhead that I just saw literally right before I filmed this video. And I like it a lot. So I might give that a shot this year. If I do, it'll be a brand new broadhead for me. Um, and hopefully I'll like it. They look really solid. And then I have the Fang 4. Um, I'm not sure the brand that this is. I can't remember. But I also got this last year. Some people like the trigger. Some people like the thumb release. Some people like the hinge. Um, I just really like this. So I've been running this one. If you're looking for... A good thumb release the fang 4 is really solid and it's not the most expensive one it's not the cheapest one it's kind of in that mid-range budget but i've really enjoyed it and i plan to keep using it until i find something better that is my deer hunting setup for this year and pretty much has been for the past three or four years everything i showed you is a quality product um, it's worked very well for me there's a few things I'd like to upgrade. Um, I'd like to get the eight millimeter ropes from Tethered just to minimize some bulk that I have in the saddle. Other than that, you know, there's nothing that I really want to change right now. So I hope that helped you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to respond to them. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, hunt hard, and we'll see you next time.